I would meet them on the street or I would take pictures of them. And in talking to them, they would tell me that they had this new, they were, be, they were being diagnosed with this new disease. And I would just ask people, like at an AA meeting, I would go up and say, would you like to be part of my exhibit? I'm doing a pic an exhibit called Faces of AIDS. And um, they would say yes. Then they would come over and I'd set up all my equipment and we'd spend one or two hours doing at least two rolls of film, at least 72 photographs. And then they'd come back later and we'd go over the proof sheets and we'd pick the ones they want for the exhibit and each would pick the ones they wanted for their, for their obituaries. Photography was a way to meet people and to get really close to them and capture their their soul. And I I really loved it. I think that I was not really interested in anything else other than the human being behind the picture. I got people in the in the community like Adolf Gasser and company was a big photography supply house and they gave the film, they gave the, they gave the processing chemicals and they gave the paper. And I did it all in my apartment. I would like develop all the film in my kitchen. And I would, I had a dark room in my hallway and I had a, it was like, wow. It was like, it, was, it became my whole life. First public exhibit was at the San Mateo County Fair. And I realized then that it was important because people really didn't like it. And as I said before, a lady spit at one of the pictures and I thought, this is so perfect. This is just what needs to be done for the AIDS epidemic. And then it went to San Mateo City Hall and the, the big deal was it went to Moscone Center and to Grace Cathedral to be part of, of the healing of all of that was something really amazing. I became friends with many of the models. I had hoped that by a certain time that they'd come with a cure. But um, that didn't happen for most of, I mean, that didn't happen for the exhibit. All but two of the people have passed away. As they say, they say it in AA, don't quit before the miracle. And finally, a cure did happen. Well, not a cure, a way of managing the disease did happen. But it came too late for all the people in the exhibit. Well, now that it's part of the memorial, it would be nice if it never went away. If no one ever just boxed it up. Because these were 100 people in the beginning of, of an epidemic that devastated the AIDS community, the gay community. And it would be nice if the pictures were always there so people will remember who, what people went through in the very beginning. I'm still overwhelmed by people taking an interest in, what, in this exhibit. For many, I mean, I remember when I first put up the exhibit, I thought, this is just going to be the biggest failure in the whole world. Like, who is going to look at all these pictures and but it, it turned out to be the exact opposite.